1944, Tuesday, June the 6th, the invasion of Western Europe, a date with history. From hundreds of airfields on Britain, thousands of aircraft roared out across the channel in a shuttle service of destruction. There's a vital task, the softening up of the German coastal defences, Hitler's formidable West Wall, the bombing and strafing of communication channels carrying ammunition and weapons from inside Germany to still further strengthen those same coastal defences. Two, the job of keeping the Luftwaffe out of the air. The Allied Air Forces laid the ground truly and well, and at last dawned D-Day. The sky above Normandy was darkened by wave after wave of aircraft as Allied parachutists opened the attack. Their immediate objectives, the capture of enemy airfields. <laughs> Meanwhile, a great armada was already discharging thousands of Allied fighting men on the shores of northern France. 4,000 ships and 11,000 aircraft were engaged in the operation. <laughs> Within a few hours, beachheads had been established and Allied forces had already penetrated inland. These pictures show the beaches after bitter fighting and bombardment from sea and air had smashed the German coastal defences. <laughs> then the results of months of preparation became apparent as a vast arsenal of Allied weapons and supplies began to pour ashore. The Allied commanders are well pleased with the opening phases of the invasion. Admiral Ramsey in charge of naval operations. Air Chief Marshal Tedder. General Montgomery. The Commander-in-Chief General Eisenhower. And Winston Churchill himself. <laughs> <laughs> 